All right, uh, once again, you are welcome back uh, to my free tutorial, right? Uh, today, I just plan to do a very quick one, right? And I discovered this among new traders, um, people that are just coming up. <laughs> I'm also a new trader also, uh, right? Because I have not, uh, it's my first or fifth year in, 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 the, in the forest market. So I would also consider myself as new because I'm yet to know anything. I'm still learning and I will continue to learn from the market, right? So this is just for my, uh, uh, for, for uh, some traders that are really finding it difficult to find their focus in the market, right? And this has really been uh, the challenge over time that I've noticed. And um, many people are really finding it difficult to remain focused and to, uh, to really uh, concentrate on a particular system and, and the likes. And this will really bring me to uh, five, six major things I'm going to discuss today. I titled this as um, on your way to being a profitable or a professional trader, right? On your way to being a profitable or a professional trader, All right? So what is the important thing if you really want to become a professional trader, you want to become a profitable trader and a, and a consistent trader at that. What are uh, are the things, what are the characteristics, what are the traits that you are made to portray in the market and what are you expecting from the market and what is the market expecting from you. This is very, very important that you must, uh, uh, you must ensure to stick to this. And the first thing I'm going to talk to you about is that you must have a strategy. All right, please, I want you to take your note and your pen and write it down then you can really reflect on this meditate on them and you see how you can help yourself and become better so i said the first one is to have a strategy now what are strategies now strategies are method of uh, of, uh, of analyzing the market right there are different ways of looking into the market to get the best out of the market right and we have many strategies in the world we have many and i can tell you don't mind anyone that says a strategy is a bullshit or a strategy doesn't work. It doesn't exist, right? So I have some some of my friends that are retail traders. What everyone is a retail trader, even those people claiming to be trading institutional style of trading, right? Everyone is a retail trader because there is no one that is a trader here that is really trading with the banks, right? Everyone are just using their own time, a catchy time just to catch customer. There is, not, no, not, there is nothing like a institutional style of trading, really. You can really have the perspective, okay, the market behavior, you can have the knowledge of, okay, if price should get to this particular zone, it's going to reverse. But that is still not institutional. What we call institutional would be that you, 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 really, you really understand what the market maker will do at a particular time. And you are also the market maker. That is the institution. And it also depends on the fund you are also injecting into the market. I can tell you that all method actually works. And the reason uh, for saying this is because many people have actually been carried away that, oh, I'm trading, what I was trading before is retail trading. Now I'm trading institutional style of trading. And they are now looking from one strategy to the other, right? They are, they are they are jumping from this strategy to another strategy to another strategy to another strategy until they don't have, until they become a strategy, right? When they become a strategy, just know that you don't have any other thing again, right? You just continue. The only strategy that they will have left is how to blow their accounts. That's the only strategy they will be left with, how to blow their account. So this should now make you to so have it at the back of your mind that you need a strategy that works, right? And just like what I said, all strategy works. Right, and it depends on the work that you've really invested in into, into this particular method before you can really say that, oh, now let me now settle down or let me now remain or abide with this strategy. Just like what I said, pick a strategy that you know that will work for you, then stick to it. You can look for any other post, any, any other individual probably to teach you, probably tr getting a trading course online, right? Uh, you have different methods, just like we have trend line trading, we have double bottom, all those kind of trading, uh, trading the daily range, weekly range, ICT, BTMM, name any strategy you can really think of. You have many of them that can, you can really pick off, get enrolled into their class and really study it well. Now, another thing based on this uh, uh, strategy I'm going to talk about 
is also uh, uh, the fact that many people have really said this and they've really deceived the gullible. Do you need a mentor or you don't need a mentor? Now, it's the same thing as you going to probably uh, uh, a school, right? You are going to your to, to, to college or to, probably to higher institutions. Now, when you get there, do you really need a lecturer or a teacher to teach you or you don't? Now, this should really let you or open your mind to the fact that there is nothing in this life that is not being taught, right? If you say that you don't need a mentor, right, you don't need a teacher, you should remember that whatever things you are going to study, it was taught by an individual, right? So invariably, in one way or the other, you are learning under someone. So you might do it in a legal way and you might do it in an illegal way, right? You might do it in a legal way and you might do it in an illegal way. But the best I can tell you is actually to get someone to put you through because an individual that I've studied for a long time, right, is going to it's going to bring your own study time to a very short period of time because this person is going to teach you all what he has learned for thousands of thousands of hours. Then you will be learning this within a short period of time. So it's as simple as that. And I'm still going to go back to this uh, mentor strategy at the end of this class. Now, you need a strategy that works and you need someone to communicate these strategies to you. That's just some, a reputable person should have developed this and for you to make use of. Then another point that I have here is to backtest. Now, I've seen, even in my class, I've seen many people that they will come to my class, they've seen what I'm doing, and they will think that, okay, I, I told them that, okay, because uh, under my course form, whatever things you actually want to sign, you have it there that, okay, you can study this course for, it, for, for two weeks. So many of them believe that, okay, within two weeks, you can really study this course and be profitable, right? And you can really study it and know everything that is there. That is, that is very wrong. Even though you learn a very simple strategy that uh, you can learn within five seconds and you can practice it within the, the following five seconds, that doesn't mean that you should not do your own homework. Your own homework will now be that you are backtesting, right? You are backtesting to get the, the full details of the, about, about that strategy and you are seeing how that pattern really plays out in the live market. And you know that you'll be using an historical data to really carry out these actions, right? You'll be making use of historical data, probably the past trade of last month, last two months, last, last two years, three years, to really see how this pattern play out. Now, your own backtesting will now be bringing this methodology into your own personality, right? Right? You, are, you, are, you know, a method has been communicated to you, probably uh, as your mentor, probably I'm trading monthly, daily and four hour time frame right you can decide okay this particular monthly is too far from uh, for me it's too uh, uh it's too long for me to wait for a monthly time frame okay what can i do let me back test this and see if it is working right if it is working on four hour time frame 30 minutes time frame on five minutes time frame so these are your own workings these are your own effort to ensure that whatever things you've learned from that individual, from that methodology, from that book, or from that website, now becomes your own, right? So when you learn a strategy, so the first point is for you to get a mentor, for you to get a strategy, and the second point is for you to make that particular strategy your own. How do you make it your own? You make it yours by studying it much more, even more than what the teacher has communicated to you, then you make it your own by finding your own right word for that particular strategy. And the right word I'm talking about is that, okay, at what time of the day am I supposed to trade? Now, this will be based on your own five to uh, nine to five job, right? You determine, okay, how busy I am. What kind of trader do I want to be? Do I want to be an, a swing, uh, a, I mean, a swing trader or an intraday trader, or a, position, a, 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 a positioned trader. So these are the questions you should ask yourself. And when you have already determined the kind of trader that you are, then you ask yourself, okay, what time frame can I trade? Then you use this particular time frame that you've gotten, then we are going to use this to backtest. So after backtesting, you will write down all what you've noticed and all what you think you can also add to what you are trading. So with this, you can now ask your mentor that, okay, can I do it this way? Can I do it that way? Okay, I think this is, actually, this is going to work out for me. Can I practice it this way? 
then if your mentor also see that okay this is actually a very good one then you can do what you can carry uh, carry on with that and start practicing that so you need to back test a lot and see what you have been taught as a very good one now, what I've experienced and which will also lead us to the third, third point, which is a demo trading. Now, I don't, I'm not a fan of demo trading, right? Because I believe that whatever things you want to practice, your emotion, your psychology, everything is, you will be tested on a live account. So demo trading will be that you actually, now it is good because I, will, I always encourage my students to demo trade for probably one to two weeks. But I will now tell you to probably open a, a, an account, right? of probably $100 or $50, then you start practicing with 0 0.01, right, lot size, so that you will see how consistent you can be. Because when you are practicing on demo, you can open 1,000 lot size. You might even de determine or choose not to open it for a month. But when you are trading live accounts, your mind is there because you know it is your money, right? So your mind is there, you want to monitor it, and this can really make you to trade impulsively. What do I mean by trading impulsively? You can trade it, you can close it at any point in time. Probably the market just give you $1 profit. You can easily close it. And when the market is giving you about $5 in loss, you will now let your loss to run. So these are the emotional uh, uh, state that would be tested when you are trading on a live account. But on a demo account, this cannot be so. Right? I've really traded a demo account before. I have uh, uh, about $500 in that demo account then I open, the, uh, I mean, one lot size on it. This is actually very bad, right? This is a very bad because you can easily blow it. And no matter how much uh, demo account you've blown, it will never affect you. So this means that when you want to demo trade, right, just practice for two weeks. That's actually the most, uh, uh, that's the, uh, the maximum time you can actually use. But Ensure you open a small life account and practice what you've learned on it. Now, let me quickly tell you my own story. Now, when I learned what I learned from, from Nado, right, I took a break for about two, two, two months, right? I did not trade anything at all. And this has really been my culture, right? Anytime I want to practice so much more on the, on the chart, I, I will, I'm not going to trade. And this is what I'm going to do. I will, just, I will only mark up charts, right? I will do chart markup then I will see what will play out on that chart. I will not trade it. Because when you are learning, and that is why one of the rules in my class is that when you are, when you are learning, right, if you join my, my class today, right, immediately you start with your mode one, right, you are not permitted to trade either live account or demo account again until I'm going to give you the certificate that, okay, go on and trade. Without that particular, cert uh, that particular certification, you cannot trade live. If I see you trading live, then that is the end of your mentorship. And there's a reason for this. The reason behind this is that when you are learning and you are trading, it's going to affect your psychology. Because when you're marking up your chart, then you see that opportunity that I just taught you. Now, you, can want, you might really want to enter. And you will not know that what I've really explained in that particular video still needs some extra confirmation before you enter it. Now, after taking that trade and you lost that trade, then the end of the, at the end of the day, you'll be frustrated and you will ask yourself that, oh, this method is not working. Even while you are yet to conclude the course, you, have already have, you already have the conclusion that, oh, this course is not working because I already lost a particular trade or probably two trades or three trades. So that is why it is not advisable for you to, le um, for you to be learning and be trading. No, any mentor that really say that, oh, uh, and why you learn, right? And why you learn they are not really helping your psychology. There's nothing like NYU learn. It's just like a lawyer or a medical doctor, right? When you are practicing, probably when you are being trained as a medical student, will they take you to, to the hospital to start learning? I mean, to start practicing as a medical doctor or as a lawyer, right? Or as an engineer. The only thing they can do to you is to take you to the site or to take you to the hospital or to take you to the courtroom for you to experience what they are what is being done there but it's not for you to now practice it they will now they will not give take you into the uh into into the uh into the theater for you to start uh, uh operating on a human being probably a life human being for you to operate when you have not yet learned then that particular hospital or a particular medical school should be sanctioned 
So the trade, the same thing is applicable to trading. But many people, the mentality they came with uh, when, when they want to learn trading is that they've, they've seen it as a get rich quick business. Right. I was talking to one of the st old students I used to have right before I started teaching LPC. Right. I told him, I actually offered him that education for free. Right. That's why I even concluded that nobody really fa values real education. I mean, free education. There is nobody that values free education. Right. Even though when you now I can know that many people, some of you that are here, even though I'm still going to find uh, a remedy to that, you already have the course. But I can tell you, you can never do well with it. I'm, I'm very bold about that. Why? Because you are going to treat it as a free material, number one, and you will never cherish it, right? You will never value it. You will never value it. And that's the point. A free material is never valued by anyone. It is not valued. Why? Because you don't sacrifice to get it. You don't do anything to get it. You just get the material because of some scammers are proclaiming to, be, to have the course already. And they share, the, they share to you the wrong material. And you are studying it. Even though it is the right material, if you are studying it, you will never be serious. You can ask my student, before you finish with module one, probably you are going to take two or three days. But you, when you want to study all the course that is linked, you are going to study everything in a day. Tell me, what do you think is going to be the difference between you and a paid student? Now, the paid student will take two or three days to conclude a, a module. Why? Because he has an assignment to do. He has to mark all those things on his chart and submit the assignment to me for me to assess him and for me to say that, oh, yes, you've now understood this particular aspect. Now proceed to the next module. Now, so you that you got the material for free, now you are going to do what? You are going to study all the materials together. And what you are going to conclude on is that, oh, this is not a is not a good cause. Why? Because you cannot really figure out what has been what has been taught. The same thing is applicable to everybody that is looking for free materials. Now I talked to the guy. I said he said he has he has left trading. I said why? He said he is frustrated. I said why? He said he was trading demo, but he, has, he was never making anything. This guy did not know any basics in forex. I was the one. He sold me probably he saw my lifestyle, and he actually said to me, "Okay, what work am I doing?" I told him, and he said, "Oh, he's interested." I said, "Okay, no problem." Then I said, "Okay, I'm going to take you in for free." Then he started. I added him to the basic class. Then he studied for one week, right? Probably the introduction, what is forex, what is people, and all those things. Then I did not see him again. The next time I'm going to see him is that I'm seeing him sending him in chart of profit on demo account. I said, "This can never help you." Right, don't be freaked, don't be carried away with profit because you don't even understand the process. You need an education, you need a very real education for you to know what you're doing. The guy did not answer me. Then I got a message from him today, right, telling me that he has finally left Forex, that he's frustrated, he doesn't know what he's doing. I said, This is going to be the end result. I can even screenshot that and send it to you guys. So, with free education, you cannot do well. You can never do it's actually very go and ask everybody that claim to have. ICT material for free, BTMA material for free, any materials, ask them. Ask them. You say that they are profitable, that is a lie. Right. I, I've had the opportunity, right? I have some of the, one of the person that's giving me an information on what is going on in those free page that they are getting my materials for free. That, that guy that distributed my materials. Some of them already came to me that they are not doing well. But I'm seeing how they are boasting on that page that they are doing where they are making thousands of dollars in a week. And I was amazed when I saw the name of that person and I saw his message. He was even begging me that he has, he has been blowing money accounts. Then I saw him another, in another message in that group that is making thousands of dollars. And that is the deception you are going to see in the forest market. People that are not doing well, they will tell you that they are doing well. So don't be carried away. There is nobody that will be successful without being committed to a strategy. So the point I was making is that you need to make demo account, demo trading, but the most important one is your chart work. Mark chart like never before. Like, like never before. One of the students asked me, he said, I think one of the new students, he said, oh, that all these charts they were marking, what are you going to do with them? I laughed. I said, I'm going to eat them. But the reason why I'm requesting for so many charts is because in the process of you marking it, you are getting yourself acquainted with that chart. You are getting more understanding of what you are doing. And with that doing, before you end that module, you would have gotten a perfect understanding of that module. That's why on a, on a particular assignment, I can ask you to mark 30 charts. I can mark, ask you to ask, mark 10 charts. Not that marking one chart will not be sufficient, but I want you to understand the process I, that took me, I mean, that I really followed for me to become this successful. And I want you also to follow that process because of chart work. 
you need to do so many chat work a lot. And I used to tell my student that some of the time if I get carried away, because as, as a trader, anytime you are being profitable, you'll be carried away that, oh, you are now a master, right? You are now a master. You now know what you are doing. Now, this will now make you to be compromising what you are doing. Now, for example, I can see this eye. Just like this, my chart, I can see this eye. Then I know that, okay, when this eye is being raided, then the next point of interest is that, okay, I can see my ELPC trade in this particular concept. Then I want to sell it. But if I do not follow my rules, do you know that I'm going to lose that trade? Right? I would just say, oh, this is now a selling opportunity for me. Let me just sell it before I will look to buy it. Then if I sell it, if I lose that trade, then I will know that I have not followed my rule because there is a rule of taking a counter trade because this is a counter trade. It's not a trend trade. So for me to take a sell here, I have to follow my rules. But if I'm proven to be a professional, I might take that trade, right, without following my rules. And at the end of the day, I might lose it. And also, I might also win it, right? And winning a trade doesn't mean you are following the process. Now, I used to you know, you just, I'm, I'm actually a very, a very rare individual. If you're my student, if you send a profit to me, I will ask you, how did you get it? If you did not follow my rules, if you did not follow the process, I will spank you and I will, I will cancel all the work you have done. All right? Why did I say that? Because a novice can just come into this market and just click on buy on GBPUSD and the price will continue to go up. Then we show the profit, oh, see my profit. That doesn't mean that the person really understands what he's doing. But when you show me profit and I ask you that, okay, why do you do this? What are your rules? And you can state it clearly to me. I will say, oh, well done. Even though you lost that trade, I will still be proud of you. But if you win that trade and you don't follow the rule, I will send you out of my class. It's as simple as that. It's not because I'm being too arch, but I just want you to follow the process. I just want you to follow the normal routine of you of, that would really make you a successful trader. So that is why chart marking is very, very important. And just like what I was saying, anytime I am carried away, right, with my, probably the professionalism or probably the consistency or probably I'm just full of myself. Oh, now I'm now very good. And if I see, see straights that I lost six trades on a row, then I will go back to where every one of you are learning from. And where is that? My, my channel. Then I will start going back to, okay, what did I do to this trade? Why is this trade profitable? Why is this trade profitable? Then I will look back into that chart again. Then I will get myself corrected. Now, Assuming I have not made those chart markup, am I going, am I, uh, uh, what, where do you think I'm going to get the correction from? Nowhere. But because I have made that, those chart markup, I can go back to them and study it. That is why all of my students, they have a textbook they are going to make at the end of their course. There's no how you can really graduate into my mentorship class without having a thesis, right? That is a whole textbook that will cover everything that you'll have done. So that is another difference between a paid, a paid guy and a person that is what that 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 uh, that 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 is in uh, that is in that got the material for free, because at the end of your course you are going to make a textbook of that particular course, and that textbook will covers everything you've made, and you can easily go back to the assignment. If you cannot study the video, then you can easily go back to what you have written by yourself and study it all over again. So these are the things to help a student become better, and that is why I said. That number one, that a mentor is required. And number three, uh, and number four is what I said, uh, I've already explained that, that you should practice on a demo account. Practice on a demo account. Then number five, I've also said this before. I said, repeat the process over and over again. Now, when you've already gotten a strategy that is working for you, and number two, you've backtested and you've already seen the probability of that particular trade. And number four, you've done so many, uh, that's number three, you've done so many chart markup, practicing and practicing and practicing. And number five, you have also practiced this on a life, small life account. And number six, you keep on practicing the same thing on your bigger account. Now, I, I, I used to tell people that if you can take $100 into $200, there is nothing that says that you cannot take $10,000 into $20,000. And there's nothing that says that you cannot trade $1 million into $2 million. It is very, it's a, it's a, as possible as that. The same process you follow to trade $1 into two dollar, you can follow the same process to trade hundred dollars into one, one million dollars. The same process. That is why the process is a must, and you must not break that process. So, for a student that doesn't know how to how to get this process, then you get yourself confused. 
And lastly, you need to know how to plan your trade and trade your plan. All right. So just like the, the finality of everything is that have a trading rule. And this is the process you are going to follow. After you have learned this strategy, now, after you have backtested, after you have done so many charts work and everything, then you now have a process. Now, document that process into a trading guide or a trading rule. And this is what we guide you for about three or four months. I, I have something on my trading desk whereby I have all my rules stated there. So this is what I follow. And if I did not see all this rule being, uh, being fulfilled, I'm not going to trade at all. So you need to learn how to plan your trade and trade your plan, right? You need to plan your trade. Okay, what are my plans? My plans are your rules. Your rules requires that, okay, number one, what are you going to see for you to buy? What are you going to see for you to sell? What pattern are you looking out for? What percentage of your account are you willing to risk? These are your trading plans. And what is the minimum risk word ratio that you want to go for? Is it one to three? Is it one to four? Is it one to five? Then after you have documented all these things, then you stick to that. That is what you are going to trade for the rest of your life. And you must not be carried away with that. You have to be focused. You must not be distracted, right? You shouldn't be distracted because if you are distracted, then you'll be looking from one course, I mean, from one strategy to another. You want to learn another thing. No, don't. Just like what I used to tell my student, I said, even though you have a strategy that is working for 30%, right? It has a 20% win rate. As long as this strategy has a minimum of one to four risk word ratio, right? One to four risk word ratio, you are still profitable, right? Or let's say one to three risk word ratio, you are still profitable. You can do the calculation. The strategy has 30% win rate. Now that shows out of 30%, out of, out of 10 trades, right, if you are trading 10 trades, you will lose seven and you will win 30 trades. So calculate that if you are risking one percent per trade, that is seven multiplied by one, which will give you seven. Then we are going for one to three risk water show, that is three multiplied by three, which will give you what? Nine. Then at the end of the day, your net profit is what? Two percent at the end of the month. That shows you did not blow your account. That shows you, you did not lose your money. You see, have a gain of 2%. It is not so good, but it is better than those that are not making anything. Now, if you compound that 2% for the rest of the, at, at, at the end of the year, you are gaining 10%. That is, a, that is not a wasted energy because you are gaining 10% of your account. It might look too, too absurd to many people because they really want to get 100% in a month, which is not always advisable, right? Any student that asks me that, okay, can I start making 50%? Uh, per week, I will tell them that by, by the time you start trading, you are going to answer that question by yourself. Because your personality will really show if you are going to make even 5% in a, in a week. Right? So, it is very, very important for you to plan your trade and trade your plan. Don't get over-excited in a course. Right? Don't get too, too, too carried away with the name of, of courses. Right? I know so, so many people probably in those free groups, they are sharing the material, they are hearing, oh, help is help is, and they are carried away with that. They don't really know what that is. Some people did not even, they have not even heard about that name. They don't, they have not even seen the method before. And they say, share the course with me. Right, but really, why did I know all these things? I got so many screenshots and really have the time to really go through it. I was really, really less busy. So I have to go through it and I saw them. Even one of them, right, it came to me. Uh, I said, if you get my course, you cannot do well with it. He said, no. Later on, I got to know that he was still looking for another course, even after looking at my course. He was still looking for another course. They cannot get focused with one course. You will just be carried away. You will say that, oh, there's another strategy. It's called, it's called the kingdom strategy. Ah, they will say the kingdom. Oh, what is it happening there? They want to go and learn the strategy again. There's another strategy. It's called a multi, uh, multi-million dollars strategy. They want to look at that course again. So that is a toddler. Right, they are being tossed away with every wind of what of strategy. So you are to be consistent. You have to focus on just one thing. Learn just one thing. If it's just moving average cross, if it is just BTMM, if it's just M's and W, if it's just trading the highs of the day and the lows, lows of the day, write your rules around that. Then practice it over time. Back test it and see how many win rate do you have. Then keep practicing this over and over again. Write down your rules. Then your rules must be what you've back tested. Right, you must not backtest another thing and you're writing down another thing. No, no, how many 
pips this particular thing can give to you, know where you're going to put your stop loss, know where this take profit will be. This is what will form your, uh, your trading plan. But the only thing, uh, uh, I mean, uh, for, for you, uh, uh, when you get a trading mentor, I mean a consistent, I mean uh, probably a dedicated and committed one at that, that is what is going to help you to do. Like for now, all my students really have what they have, their trade, they have my trading plan, which is my trading rules. These are the things to follow. These are the things to follow. And like that, there's none of them that will say that they've really graduated from my class because we keep learning every day, right? New, new things. Not that I'm new, teaching them new things. No, I can come today and say, okay, this is another block. I've really taught them other block, right? Let's say this is another block. Uh, let me mark a very strong other block at that. Let me mark this zone. Let's say we have this other block. Then I can come back and tell them the reason why this candle have to form. Now they've, re they've already known this and they know that when price comes to this zone, it's going to get rejected. Then I can come back again due to my own long term of study. Then I would have discovered something about this candle again. Then I'll come back to teach them. Right. So these are the things that they keep learning over and over again, over and over again, over and over again. So that's the difference between those free guys and, under, and, under, and, 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 and the paid guys. Now, guys, I've already talked about seven major things for you to take note of. I said I have a strategy and a strategy and a good one at that. Number two, I said you should backtest a lot. Number three, I said you, you should demo trade, but most importantly, do a whole lot of chart markups. Chart markups. I will encourage every one of you on this call to have a channel, right? It, it can be a group of your own, right? When you do your markup, be uploading it in there, right? I have to show you guys uh, uh, the materials I deleted from my channel, right? I have to show some of you uh, that those materials because that channel that now became every, a public channel for everybody, it was my own private channel before. I upload all my trades in there, right? All my markups, and this is actually what I've been doing till today. That channel still be, still remains my educational uh, resort. Anytime I want to learn, I will just go back to learn what I've, what I've marked before. So it is very, very important for you to take note of this. Chat markup is very, very important. Then number four, I said you should create a small, I mean, a life account that has a, a small fund in it, then you practice with that. Then number five, I said you should repeat the process over and over and again, over and over again. Then number six, I said be focused. Don't jump on one strategy to another. Don't be distracted. Don't be carried away with different strategies. No, when you've learned one strategy, stick with that. I can tell you, many people, right, one of my students was really giving me um, an, an ed ops. There was a particular group that what they always post was a precision, right? They said they always have precision, right? They, we can, they can probably, they can put their pending another year, probably for month market will come back, we give them one to 50, one to 100 risk reward ratio. I said, okay, no problem. He said he's going to learn it, then went, get their materials and study it then came back to me. I was even accusing him of something. He said, oh, he has studied the material and it's bullshit. I said, really? He said, yes. He said, what they teach is actually not compared to what they've learned here. I said, see. And some of them would have paid, I think, probably $1,300 or so for that particular course. You can see that. So if you are carried away with names of course or with what somebody is posting without giving you a reason why they really get that. And that's what I really... I, I, I've done for many of you, right? I gave you the opportunity to do what? To, to study and I gave you the rules behind my, 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 behind my trading so that you can really see that. That's why I provided, I gave you guys a free education, right? So you can really see what I'm doing in my flashcard and you can relate to it with what I'm really posting on, on the channel. So you will not be carried away with that. You already know what I'm doing. But if you, are, if you just said a new name, oh, there's another strategy, you want to jump at it, you will never be consistent. Because the time that you are, you are, you, you, that you, you, you are meant to use on the recent strategy you are using, you will be using it to learn a, a new strategy. Let's assume that you are going to spend five days on that new strategy, but you, you would have invested that particular five days on the current strategy that you have now, and you, have be, you would have become better at that. So it's better for you to stick to one Practice it over and over again and until you become consistent. Now, I, you know, on Saturday, I had a chat with one of my friends. He's actually a retail trader. He's about to join my course. I told him, I, I advised him that you don't need that. Every month, you are really, you are really withdrawing so, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so much money. So you don't really need to be distracted. But I said, the only thing I can really teach you and I can really help you with 
is to get my liquidity style of trading, probably to look for liquidities because you're a traders and you can really be trapped in with this. Even with that trapping, you always make money, right? We'll just go for 20 pips, 30 pips, and it's out of the market. You know, we, we that we claim that we're trading institutional style of trading, we want to go for 1,000 pips, we want to go for 500 pips, and at that, you might not be really be consistent. I'm still going to make another video on that, how to take profit, how to take your loss and those things. I'm going to make a video on that. So I was talking to him. He said, oh, that's true. That's true. I said, stick to that. The stress of you now uh, learning another stuff is going to take you a month. It's going to take you two months to learn new things. Why can't you just stick to what you have now? Probably I can just help you to do some modification in what you have. Probably liquidity, then you can learn what liquidity is. Then you'll be aware of that. It's not that you're going to put that into your trading strategy, but you can easily know that, okay, this is the handwork of the market maker or the liquidity providers, and you will not be able to take that trade. So that's still good enough. But jumping from one trade to another, ICT today, you're going to learn. Oh, I, I have one guy in my channel before I remove that guy. You want to learn everything. Right. I was in a group before. That's a group of supply and demand. It was a free group that they always send materials of different mentors to the group. Right. That guy is in that group. He's in another group. He's in different BTMM groups, different ICT groups. And he'll be asking questions. He's also in my free groups before I close that group. You'll be asking questions in all those groups. And he'll be saying that, oh, I'm going to process this tomorrow. One day I messaged him. I said, with this that you're doing, you will never be consistent. There was a day somebody just posted an indicator to the page that, oh, this indicator is really making so much money. You want to practice that indicator too. I said, this kind of a person can never do well in this, in this, in this business. You need to be focused. You need to know what you are doing. You don't need to be carried away with different methodology, with, with different things. And if you really sit down, right, if you really sit down and analyze all these things, including supply and my clean ICT, including my method, BTMM, you will see that everything still boils down into the same thing. The same thing. So I, I will laugh at those people. I know they are really foolish by saying that, oh, you copied ICT, you rename his method. Every method or every time of ICT that I, I, I practice today, they are not renamed. FBG, I, I, they remain like that because it's ICT time, and I give the, 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 the credits to him. OB, right, and the power of three. I always say it in my video, these are the ICT time. Whatever things I discover myself, I'm going to use my own time. Right, so it will require the foolish person to really say that, oh, this guy stole from ICT and he was renaming a stamp. No, I didn't rename anything that ICT taught. I never learned ICT. The only ICT term that I know was learned from Nado and probably a flashcard of the groups I belong to. I, I see FBG there and I make it my own, right? Make it my own, not that I turn it to my own name. No, I study it and I see how I can really trade it with my own methodology, right? Another word of King Gobi, right? I used to make, make mention of King Gobi. That King Gobi was really a term that I got from this supply and demand group. Is it uh, Sampari or what is the name of this uh, Sampari? I, can't, I don't even know his name. A guy sent me the material, then I saw it there. I said, oh, this is good. But it was not really explained. If those people trading supply and demand can really see that, they would think that it's actually the same thing, but it's not the same thing. I look at that and I see how this thing can really work into my own method. Then I actually gave it a King Gobi. So those people, I gave them the credit, but I have my own way of looking at it. So it's, that, it's actually as simple as that. So you guys, I will, I will, I will actually uh, 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 request that you should be focused, practice all what I've said today, then you will be very, 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 very good at what you do. Thank you uh, for the section. If you have a question, then you can drop it, then I will do well to answer it. I will stop recording now so that you can ask your question. So uh, I'm going to post this on my YouTube channel. You can do well to subscribe, um, comment, make a comment, then share with your friend to also do the same. All right. So thank you guys very much. Thank you for joining in. And I will see you in the other uh, next section. But you can ask your question now. Then. All right. Um, if you want to join the mentorship class, the mentorship class is just $350, right? $350. So you can apply for the mentorship class where you'll be trained on how, uh, I mean, you'll be mentored. Not to really study, you will really be mentored in that particular course. The course is already flying all about online. So I, I'm, I don't care. The reason why I was really concerned about that useless guy or that poor guy was because I really want to get the traitor in my class that really linked that course. I don't have a business if the course is linked because I know what I record. I know you cannot do well with my course without me. I really know that it's going to get boring to you. Not because my, my voice is very, very exciting. I can say that. But 
you might not really get the whole idea. Why? Because you are going to study all the 10 modules together at a time. You study everything together at a time. You will not do assignments, you will not do chart markup, so you'll be confused. So that's why I'm so much uh, uh, glad that that particular individual that will get that course will not do well with it. So it's not a course. It's just as simple as that. So if you get my course for free in those groups, then congratulations to you because you are just on your way of blowing your pay account. But for the student, they will take it one step after the other. They will learn it. Uh, they will learn the method on that module. Then they will also go back and do assignments on it. Then they will submit. They will get corrected. That is what you will never get. And you will never do well with that. All right. So if you want to join the course, it's just five, I mean, $350 to join the course. Thank you.